this geometry problem is from the regional mathematics olympiad 2008 it's a beautiful problem consisting of you will see in a moment uh, cyclic pentagon so let's start with the acute angle triangle abc if you do not have the diagram with you i suggest you pause the video at this point and try to draw the picture on your own so you have an acute angle triangle abc and d e a d and f at the midpoints so this is d and this is f they are the midpoints of the sides bc and ab respectively uh, let we draw perpendiculars from f to ac so let's draw a perpendicular from f to ac let's suppose this point is e and uh, perpendicular at b to bc so we draw perpendicular at b to bc so this is also 90 degree and finally we let these two perpendiculars that is uh, this one and this one both of them meet somewhere here and they meet at n that's what the problem says so they meet at some point n so our job is to prove that nd is equal to the circumradius of abc so if we join n and d then nd is equal to the circumradius of this particular triangle abc so well, whenever you have a problem related to circumradius step one is to actually draw the circumcenter the circumcenter and uh, we know the construction method for the circumcenter you erect perpendiculars at the midpoints erect perpendiculars at the midpoints and wherever those perpendiculars meet that is precisely the circumcenter uh, so that's the first construction because if we want to find the circumradius it makes sense to first try and find the circumcenter okay so now we immediately see a road toward uh, proof notice that this angle is 90 degree because we erected a perpendicular that's how we constructed the circumcenter we erected the per perpendicular at the midpoint d and we have this one as uh, 90 degree as well now we see that nd is a nd is a diagonal of, the, of this particular quadrilateral so step 2 is complete the quadrilateral complete the quadrilateral n o b d so uh, this is actually quite intuitive once you have n b o d it makes sense to join n o because it looks like a rectangle and we will see that it is indeed a rectangle the motivation being this that if you join ob that the other diagonal of the rectangle that is the circumradius so this is the intuition uh, is ob is circumradius and if we can show that N O B D is a rectangle then clearly the two diagonals of a rectangle are equal and hence N D will be equal to O B and N D will also be equal to the circumradius of A B C. So we understand our goal. Our goal is to show so this is a new goal which came up from this constructions is to show that NOBD is a rectangle so you can pause the video as this at this point and try this on your own one more time 
Okay. Uh, so how do we show that NOBD is a rectangle? How do we show NOBD is a rectangle? Uh, firstly, if we can show that the points NOBD are on the same circle, uh, then we would be done because this angle is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. If we can show that NOBD is cyclic, if NOBD is cyclic, then if we can show this then angle NOD and angle BNO uh, will be both 90 degrees because their opposite angles are 90 degrees and we know that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral adds up to 180. So how do we show that NOBD is cyclic? Uh, so to show that, we observe that firstly, if we join FD, let's join FD. Since F is the midpoint of AB and D is the midpoint of BC, therefore, by midpoint theorem, by midpoint theorem, FD is parallel to AC, right? So if you do not know what is a midpoint theorem, you can either go to the link in the description and read more about it or you can look up into your textbook. Uh, so FD is parallel to AC, which would mean that this is right angle because this one was right angle. Uh, since uh, FD is parallel to BC and NE is perpendicular to AC, therefore NE must be perpendicular to NE is perpendicular to FD, which means that this is 90 degree. Which means that this is this angle is 90 degree, and since this is 90 degree as well, by construction or even hypothesis, therefore NFDB. NFDB is cyclic. NFDB is cyclic. And we will finally show that BFOD, this quadrilateral, BFOD would be cyclic. In fact, if we can show that in hindsight, you can see that we will have a beautiful circle circumscribing this pentagon. Of course, this is of course if we can show that BFOD is cyclic. We have already shown that BNFD is cyclic. So we have shown that this is cyclic. If we can show that this is cyclic, then by default BNOD will be cyclic and we will be done. So how do we show that BFOD is cyclic. So this is the claim. BF. Let's get up a little bit. Uh, BFOD is cyclic. This is ninety, and this is ninety by construction. Right. That's how we. Uh, that's how we constructed OF and OB. We dropped perpendiculars from O to the two sides, or rather, erected perpendiculars at F and D, and they met at O, which was a circumference, circumcenter. Uh, so it says this is ninety. This is ninety. Then clearly, this one is a cyclic quadrilateral because opposite angles are adding up to one eighty degree. So this is because because angle BFO is equal to angle BDO is equal to 90 degree. That's by construction. So now we have BFOD as cyclic. Earlier we showed that BNFD is cyclic. 
So we have now a circle passing through all the five vertices of this pentagon, which tells us that BNOD is cyclic, hence it's a rectangle. And uh, see, since this is a rectangle, as we earlier said, its diagonals would be equal and BO would be equal to ND. Uh, and BO is of course the circum radius. So BO is the circum radius. So we have ND is also the circum radius. It's a very beautiful problem. Look, in the link, look into the link in the description for um, more information on the theorems that we have used in this particular problem. Uh, thank you for watching.